What's up, everyone? It's Tuesday, and I feel like implementing something new. So without further ado, Tall Boy Tuesdays. My name's Josh, and you're watching Half Ass Beer Review. Tonight's beer, the first beer for Tall Boy Tuesdays, isn't even a beer. This is something I'm going to do not every week, but when something catches my eye. And tonight, something caught my eye. I couldn't believe it. Um, Bud Light, Platinum Seltzer, Wild Berry, 8% ABV, Anheuser-Busch product. Now, I didn't know they were going to do this. I know they have their Bud Light seltzers, but then I saw the Bud Light Platinum Seltzer. I was like, all right, I got to try this one. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Happy Tuesday. We're only two days into the work week. We need a beer. And this is an 8% beer, so let's get into it. A beautiful crack on that one. I think that's something that Budweiser or AB has down to a T. Like they just know what they're doing when they need a crack. And what's crazy about this is... I dropped it out of the back of my truck. Like I opened the door and it was rolling around in the back and it fell and hit the ground and it still had that nice crack. And actually I think it's leaking because there is liquid all over the place that smells like wild berry. All right, whatever. Let's pour the beer or the seltzer. Let's pour the seltzer. And it's clear just like we thought it would be. It's actually a really nice uh, wild berry smell. It's splashing everywhere, right? But clearly, a seltzer. Nice and bubbly, though. That's awesome. Uh, some seltzers, they really don't deliver on the bubbliness. It's got a nice, like, raspberry smell to it. Not a real raspberry smell, like almost those blue raspberry suckers you had when you were a kid. Or like a blue raspberry slushy or slurpee, wherever, depending on your area in the States. Yeah, I believe a lot of the breweries, when they make their seltzers, like especially the big breweries, they just do the artificial flavor thing. And there's actually uh, nutrition facts on here. 360 calories in this 25-ounce can. Because that's what AB does. They do 25-ounce cans. BudLight.com. No stories about it. What do we got for sugars? Six grams of sugar. That's not bad. No protein. Damn. Have to get it from somewhere else. Uh, let me take a drink of this. As always on half S Beer Review, little drink, big drink. Cheers, everybody. Almost syrupy. Yeah, it just tastes kind of like like a syrup. I know there's when you, I mean, when you think of like cough syrup, you think of like that great Dimatap you had when you were a kid. But if there's like a wild berry flavored Dimatap, this is what it would taste like. The bubbliness isn't really there when you're drinking it. It's just immediately when you poured it, it was super bubbly. Pretty disappointing. I'm kind of bummed that I spent my money on this. Nothing really redeeming about the seltzer at all. Yeah, that's the flavor just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Like it's not a natural wild berry flavor. Like in the nose, you're getting like this raspberry kind of artificial raspberry smell, but the taste is nothing like it. It doesn't taste like that blue raspberry sucker or slushy or slurby or whatever it is that you're having. A very disappointing beer. I don't think I've ever rated anything so low on half ass beer review before. And you know, you kind of expect AB to do better than that, right? They, they got a big name. They're probably one of the best-selling beers in the country. And you're just going to push out a crappy seltzer like this? That doesn't make much sense. They probably could have taken their time and developed something a little bit better. But I guess that's what I get for putting too much faith in AB and Bud Light Platinum Seltzers. Made with agave. Okay. Well, that doesn't help anything. <laughs> 
I don't know what that's supposed to do in this seltzer. My rating for this seltzer, if you even want to call it that, is only going to be a two. This is not good whatsoever. Don't even go out of your way to try this. I mean, if somebody offers you one for free, maybe, but even then I would question it. Like if someone said, hey, you never have to pay for beer again or seltzers again or alcohol in general, but every three beers you drink has to be a Bud Light Platinum Seltzer, I would probably turn it down. I would definitely turn it down. I wouldn't even take it for free. That's how bad this is. It's only getting a two. Don't bother. <laughs> Mighty Ducks reference. Don't bother. Yeah, uh, two. And that's all. That's. I don't know. I'm, I'm really disappointed by this. I, I, I'm going to say it again, but I thought they could have done better. Shame on you, Bud Light, Anheuser-Busch, whatever you want to call them. Just a big brewery pushing something out quick because of the seltzer craze. Nah. There. That's it. That's it. That's it for this half ass beer review. Tallboy Tuesday edition. A very disappointing first edition. Bud Light, Platinum Seltzers, Wildberry, 8% ABV. It's only getting a two. That syrup taste. Couldn't get past it. No bubbles. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Looks like this. It's right down there. Just click on it. If you're new here and you like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the bell. Keeps you up to date and notifies you every time I post a new one of these reviews. But until next time, please keep your fridges full with anything except Bud Light Platinum Seltzer. And have a great night. <laughs>